Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane. Today is Monday and we are going to be looking at your energies for today. We're focusing on the heart chakra this week Pisces. So if you want to get some work done on this, this is a great week to be here. Thank you so much always for being part of my channel. I appreciate you so very much. I'm going to pull from an oracle from Work Your Light. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. All right. So some of you may be like really wondering if you're on the right path and doing the right thing. And Pisces, you are. Okay. The ever unfolding rose. So appropriate, especially for the heart. Roses, you know, always associated with flower giving, Valentine's Day, all about the heart. Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay. So some of you as well, I, f I felt a resistance yesterday when I was doing the reading about dealing with certain things that um, really get to you. In other words, that um, having to really crack open into your heart and crack open the, f the forgiveness of it is something that's going to be a sore point. Okay? So... The part of it's happening for you and not to you would be the part, okay? So if you're feeling a little bit of resistance or you feel like you want to lash out because of these, this type of work, um, it's okay, Pisces, okay? It's, it's kind of normal because you're like, you're touching wounds, okay? Things that hurt you. And you've already been doing it it's already saying you've been already doing it you've already been going down that road regardless of whether you want to admit it or not you've already been doing this work so it's just really putting um a looking glass under it at this point okay it's clearing it up it's letting it fix itself or or just continuing the work that you're doing for what i hear from a spirit okay don't don't be hard on yourself. You're doing very, very well. Yeah. I see the sands here and it reminds me, like all I can hear is a ha an hourglass. It's just a question of time. Okay? You're letting the light in and everything is opening up for you. This is you on your way, on your path. Um... You see, again, these beautiful pillars in the background. You see them here and you see them here, okay? So, you're cracking yourself open. You're being raw. You're shedding tears. You're understanding that this pain that you've been harboring for people who have hurt you, all the wrongs that have been done um, to you, okay? I feel that you've been hurt so bad that it's been... It's been holding spaces in your energy that need to be let go now, okay? So, it's time for you to forgive. It doesn't mean that you need to let these people back. A lot of people feel that forgiving means that you forgive and then you're instantly friends with your, you know, the person who's caused you all this pain, and that's really not what this is. This is just letting it go, okay? Because chances are, if you have somebody who's hurt you, they've probably moved on. That's even if they knew if they did hurt you. Sometimes the people who do the hurting don't even realize how much they've wounded you, is what I'm hearing. And they're carrying on in their lives and their journeys, okay? You don't need to carry on with this pain. You do not need to carry it with you. This is what forgiveness means. Just keep going the road you're going. Keep going on your journey. Keep clearing things, okay? And remember, it's not happening. Uh, it's not to you. It's happening for you. For you meaning when you clear this space, you're going to be able to feel so much better, okay? You're going to have room to grow, room to put better things in. And that's the whole point to all of this. All of this and any of this. It's always the point, okay? Alright, Pisces, let's see here. Eight of water, right. 
move on. Okay. The eight of water is always about leaving is hard is always hard to do. Okay. Departing from these emotions is hard to do. Going on this journey of letting go is hard to do. This is a card of letting go. Okay. So I keep repeating it, and that is basically what this is. You have to let go. Now, I know I'm going to hit nerves this week, okay, Pisces? So be nice in the comments. If you're not feeling it, I understand if you need to move away, that's fine. Um, sometimes you just need to shut it down and sit with yourself and ask yourself the hard questions, okay? Is it worth all the pain you're putting yourself through would be the question. Transformation cards coming in. This is heavy stuff, okay? But this is trans. This is going to tra help you transition into this new phase, facing your true north. You're already doing it, okay? Don't overthink certain things. Just just feel them is what they're saying, okay? Feel them. If you need to feel the pain and then release it, that is what you need to do, okay? It could be in the current situation. It could be the world stage. It could be anything that you're feeling right now. I know the world's going to hell again. It will continue doing so, okay? So hang in there, okay? Find your inner strength. Find that strength card, that infinite strength inside of yourself, okay? Um, the that card is about seeking closure, though, okay? With the loss comes new opportunities, is what this card says. But the loss of what? The loss of these emotions that you've been harboring for days, weeks, years, okay? When you lose those bad feelings, new stuff comes in, new opportunities, okay? A rebirth, a regeneration, a renewal, okay? By severing this bad emotion that you're carrying around, that when somebody whispers somebody's names, you lash out in venom, you know? I will never forgive that person. You've heard yourself say that. That person's just, you know, malevolent and evil. That energy is sitting inside of you, okay? You need to let it go. That's what you need to let go. You've let go of that person or that situation, okay? You let those things go, but you kept the energy of it. Now you need to let go of that. I'm going to keep repeating that this week because that is what they want you to do. This isn't a forgiveness game. This isn't, it's a forgiveness game, but forgiving it for you, not for them. Okay? It's not going up to them and saying, oh, I forgive you. No. It's forgiving them so that you can break the illusion of thinking that you're past this. Okay? With the moon card. Because you may think, okay, this is, this is going to crack you open. You may think that I've already let go of this, but for some, you've held on to the bad feelings that came with it. And that's the part you need to let go. That's the part you need to forgive and go, okay, i got to get past this. Okay? So that when that situation is brought up, you think to yourself, well, that was a lesson I needed to learn. Okay? About... I'm grateful to that person. Let's say you have a wrong person come into your life. I'm grateful to, for that person for showing me what I did not want. Okay? All my choices from now on will be much better ones concerning that. Okay? So that's how you got to do it. It's all about perspective. But you really got to put it into your heart. Okay? Because with the moon card, it's saying that... You're living an illusion thinking that you're over this, okay? If you say, you know, I walked away and I made it, but, there's a but, it's that but, you know? That person is a this and a that and a this, all of that negative stuff you're harboring. That's the stuff. Hangman, right? So... This is a card of, first of all, this, these are all, oh, there's a lot of Pisces here. There's water, okay? Hangman Pisces, moon card Pisces. Um, this is using this time to gain new insight on how you process pain 
and matters of the heart. Okay? I, I give you an example. I, at one point, I started a family, moved away from the antagonist of my life, which was my father. I had a, I had a, I harbored a lot of resentment towards him, and I thought I had survived him. But every time his subject came up, I was very, very upset with him. Okay, that's that energy right there. Okay. By instead of saying, well. You know, I'm never going to be that person. And I thank him for being that person because he made me realize I was never going to be like that. Okay? And actually feeling maybe, you know, sorry for him for being that kind of person. Okay? Not being able to find love within his own heart. Okay? I saw, you have to see it in a different perspective, okay? Also, when I was given the download, I realized that he was put here to antagonize me, so I was grateful for him for getting me on my direction and my journey. The people who have come here, they're here to teach you a lesson, okay? They're here to teach you something. Whether it's something that you don't like within yourself that you see in them, or whether it's something that they do to you to propel you forward in a different journey, it doesn't and it doesn't really matter what, but there's something there for you to look at and something there for you to be grateful for. Something for you to forgive and then move on and then go deep in your heart in gratitude. Okay? This is this journey this week. Okay? And yeah, it's gonna hit a nerve, and yeah, it's gonna be raw. You're gonna feel you're gonna feel this this week is what spirit is saying. I've already done this work, Pisces, and I'll tell you right away, it was not easy. There were tears. There was resentment. Even when spirit told me that these people had come in and were planted by myself and themselves, that we had decided that they were going to come in and do these things so that I would learn and move forward and get to this point here and probably to the next one that I'm going to, okay? I'll playing a major role in my life, of making me my own kind of healer, okay? To bring me into harmony of things. I felt it very, very hard. It was very, very hard for me to come to terms with that. I had been so angry for so long that it was easier to be angry. It was easier to lash out at this pain, at these people, and dismiss them in anger, okay? Ah, uh, you know, I got rid of that person out of my life. I, I, made, I made them very, have little part of my life because, you know, good. But it was said with such venom. It's that venom. It's that remaining venom that they want you to get rid of. Because when you do that, you put things back in harmony. You suddenly say, thank you. For my father, and this is not going to be for you, but for my father and anybody else who is my spirit guide now, thank you. Thank you for um, having me deal with abandonment. Making me see how physically alone I was on this planet. I searched out a way to find how not to be alone. By searching a way about how not to be alone, I found spirit. I listened. I got quiet. And then I realized even in my worst days and my worst moments, even sitting in this room alone right now, which is the camera, and nothing else around me. I'm surrounded by love, and will never feel alone again. And that is the greatest gift, that these people who, who'd made it their life's journey to make me feel separate and alone did for me, and I have to be grateful. My heart overflows. Thank you for the lesson you provided. Thank you for the teaching. Thank you for the harmony I now feel. Okay? So Pisces, 
Are you ready to look at things in a new light? Are you ready to see things in a way that's going to uplift you so that you can forgive and work from the heart? Okay. Are you ready to let go of these negative emotions, the seven of earth? Are you ready to stop shielding yourself, okay? To stay safe, to duck the swords. Are you ready to stop feeling undermined? Are you ready to stop deceiving yourself into thinking that everything is okay? And that by walking away, the negative energies are gone, okay? I thought this was that, but then again the seven of water is here, okay? And the Hierophant upside down is telling me that you are getting rid of old things. This is getting rid of old ways of thinking, okay? Of that walking away is the only thing that's required when there's so much more. You have to do the healing work with it, okay? When you do the healing work with it, you get the Seven of Cups, okay? This is facing your illusions, okay? Increasing your choices, okay? Facing your delusions. And this is dealing with the creative brain. And this is almost an altered state from where we, or what we practice in the world today, okay? The big thing about the Seven of Water that I'm getting is to start small and then work your way out of it, okay? It's part of this card. You're already doing it, okay? Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. This is what they're saying. So I'm going to see if I can quickly get something here. Too sure if I will, but we'll take it. We'll 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 take a look. Hmm. Okay, I was able to find it. So here we go. Do not question things so much. You're on the right track. You're facing the right way. Don't overthink. It's happening. You're closer than you think. You're exactly where you need to be and things are moving in a perfect speed. Okay? Don't rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There's no rush. What you're building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is laid. You have come a very long way. The foundations are steady. And all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, this is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane, water your own garden, knowing that your time will, to bloom will come soon. Okay? It says, you are already doing it. Keep going. Okay? This is the ever unfolding rose. The challenge of life is to keep your heart open when you most want to close it. To let life crack you open, to open through hurt and loss, to allow what is falling away to fall away. Being human is a courageous act. A life well lived is full of losses and tragedies, as much as triumphs and adventures. Wherever you find yourself at the moment, life is coaxing you to keep your heart open, no matter how much it hurts, to continually unfold, to let life crack you open. 
Perhaps you are going through a difficult time right now. Instead of cursing the difficulty, see it as a blessing. Instead of cursing this difficulty, see it as a blessing. To open yourself up to the truth that perhaps, as hard as it may be, life is happening for you and not to you. And one day, in the not too distant future, you may just bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Now is the time to go gently, to treat yourself like a tender, sweet baby, to wrap yourself in a blanket and trust that the mother has you cradled in her arms. The seas may not all be smooth sailing, but you are safe and you are held. One day, not too far from today, you will look back at the transformation and be blown away by the poetry of life. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Let it crack you open. So this card really talks about what this reading was about, okay? It really is talking about letting that heart chakra open up fully. And that is what we are shooting for this week, okay? Right. It's a brand new journey. A brand new place to go. A brand new place to be. Okay? Trust that the universe will keep you safe and stay open. Open. The word of this is open. Okay? Open to the lessons that came through and release it. Release the rest of that animosity back out to the universe. Okay? Let it go. Alright Pisces, I'm going to come back later on and do the extended if this interests you, and I hope it does, we all have something to, to get take away from this, okay, from spirit, um, for sure. Um, I invite you to come back, subscribe, hit that notification bell to all, I post twice a day. Take care Pisces, I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings.